opening day here at San Segundo de Asti here in Ontario, California. We're so blessed that we've been guided by not only the Immaculate Heart of Mary and St. Joseph, her spouse, but an incredible, deep, visceral love for the Eucharist. It has been about three years of uh, arduous planning and praying and hoping and imagining. And so today is a very, very special day. Every single morning, our students will be receiving the Holy Eucharist in daily Mass. I challenge anyone to find another Catholic school that is doing something like that, and that is how absolutely serious we are about forming our students to know, love, and serve God. If you seek and find truth, if you can appreciate beauty and you know goodness, you will see God, you will find God. And a classical curriculum does exactly that. It exposes the children to beautiful stories, a truthful rendition of history of mankind. We've been working so hard to get this going and to be able to begin with Mass. It's just an experience that I can't describe. Seeing the children participate, to be able to then congregate together as, as a group and enjoy you know, the, the Feast of Our Lady on this beautiful day, her birthday, to come together. It's just been so special. Starting a school takes great leadership. But leadership for Catholic education is so important today, especially classical Catholic education. It's the impetus for this academy is for the daily reception of Holy Communion, for the reverence, love, adoration of the Eucharist. That's ultimately why we're here, is to adore the Lord, is to know Him, to love Him, to serve Him with all of our heart. And once we have that, everything else falls in place. Once we know who He is, then we'll serve Him and we'll love Him. Sometimes we'll fall, but we know who he is and we'll keep following him through the thick and the thin. 